I can't hear. See, this is what happens. We're busy yapping away, and we forget about the show. I, like I said before, <laughs> see, we cut you off. Like Hello. I'm just gonna have two mics in front of me. All so right, rock and roll, man. <laughs> Hell yeah! For the left and the right. Oh, welcome to the Culinary and Trend Show. I hope you're ready. <laughs> not. We never are. That's we the, never that's are. The... It's 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 just one of those nights. <sighs> I, like I said last time, we should always have the mic on constantly because we're just constantly. No, we oh no, 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 we shouldn't. I know last conversation. No, I don't think we should have. But yeah. I'm just so, saying. Some stuff is definitely meant for off the air. Yes, but for the most part, whatever. Yes, and that's what I think. That's what I like about our group is like we always have something to talk about. You know, don't okay. look at me like that, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe we're almost two years old? Culinary Trends only? show. Only? Felt like wow. so much longer. We are, for our, <laughs> we, are, we are here for our terrible two years. Do you think people can I wonder if it? it's going to be our bad oh! year. Oh! Oh, you just moved the camera. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Welcome to our show. Oh, it's hi. My cam <laughs> we have Anthony from a... <laughs> we have a traveling camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can bring your friend in. C come on in and have a seat. Hi. Come oh, I see so much stuff going on right there now. <laughs> I'm not going to do the show anymore. You guys talk. I'm just going to... Like, table oh, for oh, oh, fancy, fancy oh glasses. God. Okay. Oh, it, it, see, I was oh, going to bring my yeah. own glass, which is yeah. a lot bigger than that. Oh, oh do you have the glass that takes a whole bottle I of wine? Do. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna if you're just fancy. tuning in, we are doing wine tasting tonight. We are excited. We are so excited. We have Anthony from Aroma Ristorante. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Anthony, welcome. Thank you, man. We're excited. Thank you for allowing me to Oh, God, you're family. Not, not a problem. It's not a problem. Come on in. Have a seat. Let me know if you can hear yourself. Let's do a mic check. Check, check. Uh, we'll turn that on. That, see, Lawrence switched up the mics. Did you switch no, I did not. Switch, I did not switch the mics. I did not switch the no, mics he didn't. at all. Okay. All right. Well, we are here. We have our special guest. Um, check, check, check. There we okay, are. Okay, it's on. Okay. Got me now. We have Anthony back. He's he's a family member. He's been here. This is what your third time. It feels like my third time. It's my second time. No, you came. <laughs> yeah, second. No, Twice, you came for another I... show. You came in for um the, the three thing. guys rant. That's right. So I, I don't know. Oh, what so, I'm so, so he's familiar with yeah, he everybody knows. here. Okay. He knows. He knows. But we were just talking about uh, next week we're going to be our two-year anniversary for the show. We've been on for two years. Well, thank you. So, I mean, we survived. Yeah. We survived the marriage so far. Yeah. <laughs> two years of, of beautiful uh, marriage. And Do you think you guys are, are better friends now at this at two no. years later? I can't stand no, no. I hate yeah. them. If you want to start a show, just me and you, we're totally bad. <laughs> just say the word. It's not where I was heading, but uh, <laughs> hey, I'm available. Let's see, he's always ready to go. No, no, I think uh, after two years, I think it's been awesome. I mean, we've had great it's guests like you. It, it's mm -hmm. we so many memories so it's we're not done which i can't remember i know i can't either <laughs> so many memories that we can't remember that's nice. how bad it is nice. but that's how fun our show if we are. were to do a clip show for the anniversary we are, we are. oh we are oh yeah. we are mm -hmm. okay so we're just gonna watch this clip show and go i don't remember yeah. that what we're like the... what was that episode i don't <laughs> remember who happen? was that guest gosh what, who brought the are donkey are you sure that's yeah. me yeah <laughs> so we we are gonna have a party next week you're welcome to come and hang out oh my goodness we are just gonna have a party here i might have to do that gloria do you, i want to throw it out if you ever need a bartender anthony yeah this one's here to go no. to <laughs> but make sure you watch your supply of booze <laughs> that's fine we can work out a payment you know? oh <laughs> so I, your I like hourly, that, yeah. we can take a, one bottle of, of wine per shift or something yeah i'm not but i'm not the kind of where like one ounce here like i do she'll oh, like it's, it's drop a mad, dry it's mad scientist drop a straw in yeah. the bottle and just start sipping in the corner just, just half a cup of this and half a cup of that <laughs> is it all like passion driven or did you go to school for that or uh, no i just just it's it. passion driven it's yeah. passion yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good what times. to drink? It's yeah. what I have in my cupboard. If ever she could be your emergency, like Gloria, I can't work behind the bar tonight. Come on down, and they're always busy there. Oh, nice. They're always busy there. Yeah, 
Well, thank you for noticing. Of course, because I'm like, <laughs> Anthony, Anthony. Look at me. Anthony. Are you that person? Look yeah. at me. No, there's, right I got there. a baby, new baby Congratulations. now. Congratulations. So, he's thank so you. cute. Yeah, he's the best. Aww. Little Nicholas. We had dinner with next to his family, and they were passing your baby and son That's around, like, back happens. and forth. Yeah. It was really cute. Did you yeah. get a chance to hold him? Is that... Is, no, they, everyone they, got so excited that yeah. all of a sudden you're like, how did I end up with the baby? I hog I'm eating babies. my uh, pasta. I hog yeah. babies. So like if the baby's right, I'm like, sorry. Another really babysitter. Yeah. There you go. Babysitter <laughs> and bartender. <laughs> She's all, nice. let me pour your But I don't do on. that at the same time. <laughs> you Just should. It makes clear. things interesting. <laughs> I don't babysit and pour drinks at the same time. Well, I think you just described a lot of people's childhoods. Oh, nice. Oh, I know. That's all of us. That's where we're all effed up and we're here on the Culinary Trend Show. Yeah. <laughs> Two years later. Uh, and talk about effed up. I think it was last month and I had written down all the uh, food holidays that we celebrate every day. And for some reason, we started celebrating the end of February, in my mistake, uh, for this week's holidays. We were just ahead. We were just ahead. I like to plan ahead, mm -hmm. but not that you know, far in the far future, ahead. yeah, far ahead. So I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't want to celebrate National Clam Chowder Day again. We did that already. It was National Pistachio Day. Remember that? I brought pistachios. And yes, I guess. So I screwed up. I apologize. I don't remember. See, that's one of those episodes. Thank God. He doesn't remember. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff I don't remember. Yeah, so I w I'm ready for wine, but before we get to that, so what is, a lot of people don't realize, they think, yeah, there's a daily holiday, but then for a whole month, there's other things going on. Oh, yeah. There's what a, there's what always, else is going on? The thing is that you could always just Google national food holidays, and mm -hmm. you'll find not just for the day, but for the entire month. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for the month of, well, since February is about to come to an end. <laughs> and that's well, where what I, was for February? For February, we there was a ton of things. Great no, Ameri but for the month. Yeah, Great yeah. American oh. Pie Month, Celebration of Chocolate Month, because, I mean, obviously you have Valentine's Day. It needs a whole Day. month, yeah. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Mm -hmm. uh, National Snack Food Month for the people depressed of being single, so they just binge food on the snack food. <gasps> who, oh, can I ask you, who comes up with the days? The Every guest the asks days? us that. Can we find that out? I think uh, that would should. Be I, I, I just tr check with the Google. Yeah, we Google pretty, it. Google you know, made it up. Yeah. Like the National Snack Food Day. I just picture like Dustin Diamond, like he came up with that one or something. <laughs> like I just picture Screech after he stabbed someone living in, in Mo bar. Montana, just buried in a pile of uh, empty Doritos bags or something. Because, yeah, for, and he wasn't even depressed. invited for the little reunion That's on a it, Jimmy but... Fallon show. Well, neither yeah, was Lisa. Oh, Lisa she wasn't, wasn't there. She wasn't Sorry, there. I was pointing at you. Oh, oh yeah, I was just like, what? is Lisa up there? No, <laughs> no, neither was Lisa. Well, I, I mean, there's there's reasons why she wasn't invited oh, yeah. as well. So. Lisa Turtle. Yeah. Lisa yeah. Turtle. Yeah. Look at the nice kids are here. <laughs> so anyways, all right. It was also. What I want to see. I'm sorry, but what I want to see is California Dreaming. They already was did. Like, they already they did, did that one. That one. Where was I? They did that when he was you still with your like big one giant of his, glass of wine. That was like one of his like one of the first episodes uh, when he took over the Tonight Show. He had a California Dreams reunion. What? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, just and watch that. Again. Search YouTube. I love channels. California Dreams. Sorry. I don't he got and that. he managed to get everyone from California Surf's Dreams. Dude with sorry, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know that show, but I'll let you. I know it, that show. It came on. It would come on right after. It came on right after Say by the Bell. Oh, I remember that show now. Oh Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. It was the stupid one with all the singing, but I loved it. Glee. Like Glee. Oh yeah. Hey, you used to watch that, Lawrence, right? Do you remember Kids Incorporated? I love that. Kids and yeah. I remember watching it, but I don't remember any of that. Well, Mario Lopez, when he was smaller, he started in Kids Incorporated, and he still wore those tights, and his hair was the same. He looks the same. <laughs> he looks the same. He looked really good in those tights, though. You have to watch that. I have to go back and watch yeah. it again. Yeah. yeah, we have to. Just slow-mo right there. Okay. Stop. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All this right. So good. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and I am smell. Quite, I'm just mesmerized by the lineup that we're about to partake right, in. Right, right. You guys don't understand. This is a very big treat for us. And this is our... I would say this is our anniversary party already. Just starting it off. Yes. And thank you, for Anthony, you for coming start out subside, here. So. Yeah. Okay, you know. so back to the... I feel the, very special right you now. You are special. What are you talking I'm excited. about? Thank you, guys. So what is the food holiday for the month of March? It's not good here. Well, I'm still going through the the ones that we should have celebrated in February. Can oh, food, canned food month. Ew. Mmm, <laughs> spam. Well, Gotta that's the only canned food I like. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ooh, I love that you, sound. Mazel tov. That's a lot of 
uh, sound porn going on. Ooh. I mean, we're talking about wine porn. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> so he's pouring the wine right now into my glass. Ooh. Very nice and That's smooth. Go, 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 Slowly. Go, 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 go. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so while you're pouring, tell us what it is. So right now, we do two-month wine features. Right now, we're featuring wines from... Um, one of our suppliers is called Constellation Brands, and uh, one of the wines in their portfolio is Robert Mondavi. So this wine is uh, it's called Fumé Blanc. It's basically a Savignon Blanc. Uh, Robert Mondavi, who was actually one of the pioneers in the, the Napa Valley wine scene. Um, oh, I love it. He gave it this own term because fumé is a french word for smoke or smoky so it has more of a smoky flavor to it i think has something to do with the the yeah, barrels i can smell, it. I can smell the um smoky. but this is such a a good wine like a patio sipper and a hot day yeah it's summer um it goes great with citrus it goes great with like hard sharp cheeses, cheeses. like parmesans and uh and i you know i'm a big fan of this wine this is so actually what one of my wife's this favorite wine right now Okay, so I found a local. I found a local beekeeper, uh -huh. <gasps> and he gave me some uh, fresh honeycombs. Ooh. So this is actually right out of the bees' hive. So this would go Trip well out. together. And then I also have some uh, pizzas. I was gonna do a, a pizza with no sauce. It's just been brushed with oil and garlic, fresh mozzarella, okay, prosciutto, wow. and Are you basil. Guys yet? All right, when we go so to break, we you can back, work on that. Yeah. Yes. So you're teasing us with this honeycomb. Yeah, give it a shot. What do we what do we do? I got a spoon. I'm afraid a bee's gonna come out and go up my nose. No, here, I would say maybe just hey. take a spoon of it and <laughs> I've actually never tried it. You've, oh, you've never thank you, wait. Anthony. I wanted to wait to do it when we when we came here. <laughs> you you've never eaten raw honeycomb before? No. It's actually to... kinda cool. It's almost like chewing gum. Mm. Do you remember like the, the wax candies yeah. or whatnot? Oh. It's it's essentially kinda like that. Okay. But just and it's intensely honey. You may have to spit it out, And though. don't mind the bee guts. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not true. You, all right, when we get back, you guys, are you need to, like, continue watching. Don't leave us because we are going to be eating honeycomb and other good stuff here on the Culinary Trend Show on RantRadioNetwork.com. Yums. Okay, what is it tonight? Protech Carpet Tile and Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. Protech technicians are professionally trained and certified cleaning and restoration experts. We specialize in restoring damage caused by heavy soil and odor. We can remove challenging spots such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, and many more. We have saved our customers thousands of dollars on new flooring and furniture expenses with our advanced cleaning processes. Call for a free estimate at 562-447-4300 and visit us on our website, www.myprotechsite.com. Hey, this is Joe Perez, owner at Protec. Just reminding you that Protec Carpet and Tile Care is your professional choice. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Coast Bankmark, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one -on -one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Have your attention when it comes to tequila two things matter heart and passion never compromising integrity for mass production number one tequila delivers the goods taste the heart and passion of mexico in every bottle we make it right we make it fun superior tequila there's only number one there's only number one there's only number one A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AJR and Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. 
AJR and Associates making your dream house a reality? Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. Or you can log on to www.hrrealtors.com. With a track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. All right, we are back. We are just having a good time right now. We have wine, good wine. We have Anthony, of course. Honeycomb, fresh honeycomb, and pizza. But before we start indulging in more of your delicious items that you brought, Anthony, thank you again for coming on to the show. Tell us about your restaurant, the history of it, because we're big fans, Lawrence and I. And last time you were here, I wasn't here. Gloria wasn't here to oh, enjoy. I was out. I was at a concert okay. and yeah. I was trashed. So Gloria wants to know who is the Ferrari family and yes, the I Aroma Ristorante. Okay, so my my dad was born in Italy, 1952. <laughs> And they uh, you do it in the Godfather voice. You did it last time. You did it last time. <laughs> you guys are teasing me now. <laughs> he came over here. <laughs> he was only two years old. <laughs> they made their way to California. There you go. His his <laughs> uncle his uncle had bought uh, some property out in Dairy Valley, which is basically Carmenita and South Street. Wow. So they had a piece of land over there. And uh, he, my dad had always dreamed of, of having his own restaurant. When my parents first got married, uh, they almost opened up a place in Pasadena. But, you know, it's a big commitment. You've got a family. Do you want to gamble, you know, right. money on something that may or may not work? And then when he, he was about to turn 50, he just did that midlife crisis thing, I guess, and said, I'm going to buy a restaurant. <laughs> so I was like a busboy at the ESPN zone at this time. Oh, which one? Uh, the one Disney? in downtown Disney. Oh, how funny. And yeah, and I always loved restaurants. I love the people that work in restaurants. I love the people that come to restaurants, you know, five days a week because you really do become like family with these with each other. Right. And, uh, you know, we bought this place in La Palma. We added a bar. It kind of gave us a, a new identity. The restaurant had been there since 91. We have a amazing chef, Gerardo Lopez, who just, he never ceases to uh, amaze me with the food he puts out of that. Yes, just props to him. Notch. I, you know, guys come in that kitchen fresh. They've never been in a restaurant before. They started a dishwasher, and he basically puts them through his own culinary school. You That's know? the best thing. Yeah, That's the best right? way of, it, to it, learn. Yeah. For the folks listening at home that want to get into the culinary Go arts. Go wash dishes first. You yeah, got to work that is hard. The best, the best That's the best culinary education anyone will get is to hard start work. off as a dishwasher at the restaurant that you love and work your way up from there. Yeah. It's an education unlike any other. Yeah, hands on is important for me. I think that's the key right there. If you want to learn how to make really good, like, you know, Thai food, you're not going to go work at Domino's. No. You know, you want to go work at a Thai restaurant, exactly. wash dishes, and before you know it, you're chopping up. Uh, basil or whatever they need you to do right. you pick up tips that's how it should be though mm -hmm. but that's another show i think we should that's come a whole nother that. show that's a whole nother show right so uh how many years has he been with you guys he's been with us uh he's coming up on 20 years now wow yeah at the Rock same on, location Ooh, I like so that picture we need to <laughs> yeah. that's Gloria's spot she already picked her she's side like, she of the saw bar. the booze she's like i love that <laughs> i that's... saw the table and i was like that i mean the bar and i'm like that's my you table. you guys i mean we've been already but you need to go there the atmosphere yes. is amazing the food i just keep going anthony because i Sorry. just you know i, I you're think I you're our number one granted, italian i take for mm -hmm. granted um how lucky we are mm -hmm. at that place to have all of like everyone working together we're such a tight group mm -hmm. um we most people have been there at least 10 years now mm -hmm. we don't have too many newbies and it really has just created this ridiculous uh atmosphere where people it's like it's like coming to someone's house yeah, it's it not is. like a restaurant the kids are running around 
and the food's always great and yeah. the service is always prompt and we have our core values we just stick to mm -hmm. you know like the service has to be like if if you know i tell the guys okay you're gonna work here okay this is all i really want you to know be yourself don't do anything dumb and when customers come in here find a way to pretend like that's a family member that just showed up to your house mm -hmm. what would you do would you right. just tell them to go sit in the living room and ignore them for 20 minutes or would you get them something to drink mm -hmm. would you ask them if, what they're hungry for you know just it's basics it's stuff. very i mean every time i walk in there i mean your family's there your aunt your mom yeah. and your dad my brother, my You're, sister. Yeah, everybody's there, and we just wait. And we, you know how when you wait, you, they give you that little thing until it vibrates for you to go in. This, you have a conversation. By the time you're done, your table's ready. You know, you are feeling at home when you go there. So, you know, we we <clears throat> spend a lot of time with no waits, with right. empty nights, with you're quiet. You're just trying to figure out a way to fill your restaurant up and yeah. you know for people out there that that want to start their own restaurant or they're they're in a restaurant and maybe it's not going exactly the way that you wanted it to as, as hokey as this sounds just be really really nice to the people that are in your restaurant and i guarantee you they're going to tell other people about mm -hmm. that and even if your food's not the best sometimes if you treat people really good they come back for that um companionship just as much as they come back for something to eat, you know? And just focus on that. Focus awesome. on the positive. You know, don't be upset that it's not busy. Just put out some good energy and know that it'll come back in time. And, and we've gotten to a point now where we don't really have slow days anymore. You guys are always wood. busy. Yeah. And, I mean, that was always my goal was, like, get to that point and then maybe start thinking about a second Something. location yeah mm -hmm. you know maybe a different concept altogether because i'm a kind of guy i don't want to like repetition mm -hmm. i want it to be fun for me too right so to just open up another aroma mm -hmm. cu cu uh, cookie cutter it's not my style i'd rather do like a pizza pizzeria with a deli a uh, really good sandwich place, something that's good for, I will right. eat there, you know? Right. So. Well, congratulations you. on your success yeah, because you. again, it's constantly busy. It's constant, especially like you guys are hitting it up in the bar because we are going to talk about wine tasting. You have a lot of events that you do now. I yeah. noticed you have yeah. so much going on. So, I mean, why are we doing this today? What's what's your wine pairing? Do you have it every month, or is it a weekly uh, event at your restaurant? A couple years ago, uh, I kind of made it my own little personal project to establish like more of a wine culture and a wine club, if you will, mm -hmm. at the restaurant. So, on the weekends, on Saturdays, once a month, uh, what we started doing was. We get like some entertainment, like a guy with a guitar, I, or you know. He sings. I'm just gonna let you know this guy can sing, right here. Well, I, th I thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, because I walked in and all. Is that Anthony singing over there? I know. And it, the house was full. <laughs> the house was full. Uh, that's something I love to do. Um, I'm just blessed that I get to do it at work. It's a lot of work to kind of coordinate it all. Mm -hmm. But so these wine tastings. It's $15. That's not bad. For $15, you get to try 15 wines. Wow. Gloria, that's... when are we okay. going? Wait, wait, what wait, do wait, you wait, have before... to do to join this club? Yes. No, um, that's called Vino and Musica. And then all the wine that we have to taste is also available to, for sale, dirt cheap. What? And what it is, is like in a restaurant, you don't want to be sitting on your inventory, especially right. wine. The vintages change, the stuff will start going bad. And so um, through the summer, like June, July, August, September, we do it once a month on Saturdays. And then in October, we do our Wine Toberfest, which is kind of I like a, a wine, like a carnival, if you will. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then right now, this year, I started doing this vino 101 class oh. so it's basically i'm i'm saying it's wine education mm -hmm. for people who love wine and want to know why and what and days then, are those anthony that the next class uh -huh. is going to be on wednesday i'm off on wednesday march 25th <laughs> i'm off on wednesday it's 20 it's 25 dollars <laughs> 25 dollars gets you 
four wine tastings. She's like, wait, I'm putting that in my calendar. Hold with on one food. second. food. And, and the idea behind this whole thing was give people some some knowledge, make them more confident so when they go to the store, they can take mm-hmm. advantage of a deal. They can start to determine the different flavor profiles from different regions like Sonoma cabs taste way different than Napa cabs and they taste way different than awesome. Paso Robles cabs. So by knowing characteristics of the regions, mm-hmm. you can go to the grocery store now or at, at a restaurant, you know, you feel more confident right, right. in what you're doing. And then also um, I'm giving them like, let's say the only colors you ever use are red, blue, and yellow. Mm-hmm. Well, when they come to these classes, I'm giving them so many different colors of of wine if you will that it's just open in their mind and then they can start to see what a patisserie is like what a zinfandel is like you know all italian grapes we'll probably get into in the next round of classes but right now we're specifically talking about california regions and basically what wine is and why you know chardonnays like this the savion blancs you know, different. So. Now, before you started doing all this, your interest, because you have so much knowledge on it, did you go travel to Napa or up north to, before we even, before you even started yeah. doing these classes? You know, I, I went to Napa when I was uh, like 22, 23. Uh, my dad took me up there for a weekend uh, before I was getting married. And <laughs> yeah. And, Sorry, I had to think about that for a sec. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I just, I fell in love with it. I felt like, you know, you ever been somewhere where you go, my grandfather would have loved this place. I'm sure his father would have loved this place. Like you can go back generations and be like, my people would have lived here. They would have thrived here. And Mm -hmm. I felt like, oh my God, like this is a part of me. My, my mom's father, um, we just call him Nona Luigi. Oh, I like that. He made wine in his basement. He grew grapes. He grew grapes in Toronto, Canada. You know, the three months of the yeah. year that they actually don't have snow. Right. He would grow grapes and he would buy grapes and he would make his own wine. And I love the way it smelled down there, the the fermentation and all that. It just it was cool. Like he hung his own salami. Oh, um, wow. They made that's cheese. Cool. And so like that's kind of my goal is when I get some free time or when I when I get to retire. I want to have like a cellar at my house. I want to have like a garden and I want to just have like my own That's little awesome. mini farm and make cheese and, you know, do all that. And kind we'll of be there. Playing, get back, get back to my roots. Playing some solitaire with you or something yeah, over there. In exactly. the line. <laughs> well, we're going to be going to break. We're going to start taste testing. This is your show, Anthony. So we have plenty of time. So don't even hey, worry about don't it. Don't give me that much power. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think the people in the basement need to start making wine for us. They do. All right. When we get back, we are going to I'm be, drooling. It's going to be prison wine. It's, it's we'll be back. <laughs> it's not going to be good. It's one thing to own a business, it's another to promote it. That's why thousands of business owners rely on Monster Marketing Group. Design, print, mail, custom mailers, all for as little as 29 cents delivered. That includes posting. Send to a neighborhood, zip code, or an entire city. With just a simple call, 888-49-MONSTER, you can easily promote your business, sales, events, grand openings, send coupons, and much more. Your mail delivers in as little as five days. No dealing with the mailing list, or paperwork. Monster Marketing does all the heavy lifting. Get started now by calling 888-49-MONSTER or go to monstermg.com. Monster Marketing Group. We deliver. We give you results. We can prove it. Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Moe's Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, Holmes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. We are The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Make sure to check us out every week at the 3 Guys Rant. Dot com. And you'll find out why they say we're faces for radio and voices for the deaf. Damn right. Have you seen yourself lately? Hey, I'm audio candy. 
All right, always tune in each week so you can hear the really absurd news and talk with the Three Guys Rant. Arvin, how do they reach us? Call us at 855-69-3-GUYS. 855-69-3-GUYS. It's hot out here. I need a drink. Have a mucho macho michelada. What's a michelada? Michelada is a Mexican Bloody Mary made with beer. All you have to do is get bucket-sized michelada, open it up, pour it in your favorite beer, and you're good. What if you don't like beer? You can use it in lemon-lime soda, vodka with lime, or tequila with lemon-lime soda. Sounds delicious. Where do you find it? You can find it at your favorite store, or you can go to muchomachomichelada.com. Find us on Twitter and Facebook. Good day, America. I'm Dr. Gerald Coy. Every Friday, 12.30 to 1.30, you can listen to Solutions for Life, a program dedicated to helping everyone discover better health. Each week, we will discuss challenges in our healthcare system, controversies, and issues that affect your life. But above all, discover solutions that will help each and every one of you. Only here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Oh my god. I love this episode. Anthony just invited every week. Are we fighting over pizza right now? Well, okay, tell us what pizza we just ate because we were just greedy and we just went after it. It's a secret menu item at Aroma called the. It's the Tony's. Okay, so here's the name. Here's the progression of the name of this pizza. It It started out, it was called the Antonello. The Antonello. Because the guys at the restaurant in the kitchen, that's what they call me, Antonello. Oh, okay. So every time I would order the pizza, I would be like, remember this pizza for me. <laughs> and they're like, okay, make me the pizza Antonello. So then it, we have to call it the Prosciutto Caprese Basilico Pizza so that they know Lord, exactly. I won't remember that. I won't remember tonight. that. I'm glad yeah. I have my picture. Yeah. Okay, I'll just come here. That's I want what this. it's called. That's what it's called. All right, so that's delicious. Yeah. Tell us what wine we were eating. Okay. Uh, eating, <laughs> we drinking. were eating the uh, Robert Mondavi <laughs> Fumé Blanc, which is a enough a, wine for you, a Napa Valley Sav Blanc. <laughs> and I don't know, do you feel like that wine paired well with yes, the pizza, yes, that especially was very with nice. the honeycomb? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. The, I want that. The container. cheese that was melted under the ham was a fresh mozzarella, so it's like Ooh. soft and creamy. And I thought that that creamy cheese and then the tart. From the Savion mm-hmm. Blanc, would they would what you want when you eat food and wine together? Mm-hmm. Like Italians, the French, when they when they invented wine, it was designed to work with food, so that way when you taste the wine, and you eat something, you're tasting that food like it's brand new. And then when you drink the wine, it it you don't want like your wine to taste like vanilla and your food to taste like vanilla. Right. You want it to be like almost polar opposite. Okay. So that way they play tricks on your on your mouth right so that's why i put those two together the way i did okay this next one i'm going with just like meat okay pepperoni and sausage okay marinara sauce uh-huh and then i asked them to add some sweet red bell pepper okay because this play- flavor profile mm-hmm. will pair well with pinot noir Okay, and what kind of, I mean... Okay, so this is okay. a cherry pie Pinot Noir. And last week was National Cherry Pie Day. Oh, just have to fill it out. This, bo- this, this bottle of wine at the restaurant, if you come in, you get a bottle of wine on your table. This is like a $90 bottle of Pinot Noir. Wow. Okay? So it's Girl really sips nice. Slow. It's from uh, It's from an uh, uh, appellation called um, Stanley Ranch. It's like kind of a... In Napa, there's only so much room. Right. They find, okay, this lot makes really, really good Pinot Noir. And then it's like a coveted spot. Is it so because then, of the soil? For whatever reason, the, the way the sun hits it, the way the water runs down the and mountain. And a lot of people don't know that. They just go by the wine. They don't realize, yeah. you know, about There's a lot going on. Nature itself. So typically, I wouldn't sell a wine like this by the glass. Why? Because I open up the bottle. I got to sell this for like at least 30 bucks a glass to make it worth <gasps> my while. What happens if I sell one glass and I don't sell the rest of right. it? I'm throwing away the rest of the bottle. Oh, no, don't. What? Yeah. Poor so, bottle. So now. Gloria's going to finish that. We got this uh, little toy. It's called we a like Coravin. Toys. 
What is it called? It's called a Coravin. Coravin, okay. And what it is is a, it's got a stainless steel, like a surgical needle that I'm goes scared through the cork. Uh huh. I just want to remove this uh, wax okay. because I'm afraid that the wax may clog the needle. Okay. So you you hook it onto the bottle. This okay? is some serious stuff, man. Yeah, this is some this is serious stuff. You <sighs> push the needle through the cork. All right. Okay. Get your glasses ready. Oh, I'm I'm ready. I'm going to uh, whenever you do it for the first time. Uh huh. Oh, what? Hold on. You want to pump some air in here i'm holding it it's dispersing air okay. the air it's using the gas is called argon oh, um wow. it has been tested it doesn't you're getting gas Gloria. in any way it's not like a co2 there's no oxygen so the oxygen is what ruins the wine with time so what this allows you to do is taste a customer that may want to buy an expensive bottle of wine now, what we're doing with it is we're pouring wines by the glass. Like, we're selling this one for $25 a glass. And believe can, can you explain to, um, after you pour it, our audience, why it costs so much for this type of wine? Okay. Because um, we know it's not made by what Warren. what makes it, yeah, $90. That's a joke. You know, I try to, yeah, I try to find different um, ways Lawrence, to put your earphones on. <laughs> um, describe wine. I think if you look at wine... Like you look at uh, designing clothing, mm -hmm. you know, you can go to JC Penney and get the Kardashian line. Oh, hell no. But and go it, ahead. I mean, Isn't it, that it, Sears? It looks, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty Walmart. good. It's Walmart. It okay. won't last very long. Right. You don't pay a lot for it. This one would be like a, a Tory Burch or, a, you know, somebody right. that really puts a lot I of love time this guy. and effort into the wood that they use for the barrels right. and the amount of time it spends in there and they don't they don't manipulate the wine in any way uh they want the grapes and the juice to speak for themselves and that's a very old world style right so you hear about that old world new world new world is like that is cool that we is need cool. to add um sugar to this because people aren't going to want to drink it right that's new world wine. Well, yeah that's, that's our like generation yeah that's like um you buy a bunch of grapes from somewhere you smash you don't care where it's from as long right. as the price is right right you smash them up and you make something that people are going to want to drink right away and there's so much out there like that oh yeah you know two buck chuck Oh yeah, yes. I don't. I mean, we're guilty of that. I just buy okay. that to cook, though. I cook with it too. I cook. With if it. I tell you why it's two dollars, you'll probably oh, stop I using okay. it. Okay, let's let, tell us why before we start eating. Okay, I'm gonna try to say this in a very like sweet way. A sweet way. <laughs> okay, so when people harvest grapes for winemaking, how do they typically do it? They go out there with their hands and they pick it and they right. put it in boxes. Right. Uh, these bigger companies that are selling very inexpensive wine. They go through there with a big machine. The machine grabs all the grapes. It also grabs the bird's nests and the snakes and the rats. Uh -huh. And everything it gets its hands on, it all goes into one big bin, and it all gets crushed, uh -huh. and it all turns into a $2, uh -huh. $2 uh, bottle of wine. So there's a little, so that's beware. Where the there's a little garden snake I'm saying, yeah, in there. Beware or Ooh. don't care. Either way, yeah, just know what yeah, you're dealing with. Yeah. See, at least if you cook Poor with it. little snakes. You, I cook with it. At least if you cook with, with it. snake? You know, it, it just adds more flavor. Yeah. So what do you think of this one? This is okay. nice. Does this taste like a $90 Tell us, All right, so wine? explain again for people. This is the, the cherry wine. Cheers. I love you guys. Cherry happy, pie, Pinot Happy Noir. anniversary, guys. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. All right, so that is we'll cherry pie. We'll all March. Okay. Yes, yes, just to let you know. So, I'm not normally into reds, but this is really nice. So, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Not, this is very nice. I don't like reds. Pinot Noir wow. is, is, is a, ca it's a, ca wow. it's a, it's a term used. It's worth that $90. Look at the legs on that, baby. Okay. Do you know, have you heard of the uh, Burgundy? <laughs> yes. Okay. Burgundy. Ron? I'm just kidding. Ron? Scotchy Scotch Scotch. <laughs> there you go. I'm just kidding. Bur it That's out. the next show. Uh, yeah. the <laughs> Burgundy is a place. Mm -hmm. And when, in France. when Pinot Noir grapes are grown in Burgundy, they're called Burgundy. Oh. But if they're grown anywhere else, they call it Pinot Noir. So the French style, they call it the Burgundian style of a Pinot Noir, is very like earthy. 
and it is earthy. you get that kind of chocolatey almost like you can taste the soil and it should have like a nice little bite pinot noirs typically have like 13 14 percent alcohol they're a very high alcohol yeah, content taste that's where you're getting that bite on the end um, but yeah this is just a really well-made wine look at the bottle oh let me pull this out now tell us how much that concoction is for those. Where can they find that? Um, I think you can find it online. It's spelled C O R A V I N Coravin. Okay. okay. And uh, I think these things retail for about four hundred dollars plus tax. <gasps> okay. You said when you open that bottle of wine, say for instance someone wanted it, yeah. and then you can't cork it back up. The needle does. This the needle. Hole when I pull this it? out right now, the cork reseals itself. Oh, neat. Oh. So. Wow. You know, Gloria, you need one. So oh, my goodness. So it's like nothing ever happened. And the air that we pumped in there is an argon gas. So it's not going to oxidize the wine. Oh. You can keep this for about a month and a half. You shouldn't think you can leave it in there forever. Right. But at least you don't have to worry about, like, is it going to be bad tomorrow or the next day? It gives you a little bit oh, of time nice. to come back and drink it. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's about retail 400. 400. Where can people buy that if they want to invest? I think, I think either Amazon like it. Amazon or something? Yeah, Amazon okay. or, or just search it online or maybe like a, like a high-end wine shop. I don't that's, think, I don't think these cool. are readily available. Yeah, this is more of like an industry insider. The people that are buying and using these mm -hmm. are people that make a living selling wine. Okay. And so if they can take this bottle now and keep it for a month That's and taste awesome. and taste more people, half the time they probably drink half of that bottle or they leave it with like a restaurant tour to say, right. hey, thanks for uh, letting me taste you on this. Go right. ahead and keep it. But now you don't have to. You know, so it's a great investment it's a if great you're investment. a wine lover. Absolutely. Uh, let's say you have a bottle of wine that's 35, 40 years old. Oh, and yeah. You, and maybe it's time to open it, but that's you're not true. sure. Mm -hmm. Now you can just take I a little bit out, check it out and say, oh, it's ready to pop. Let's go ahead and open that up. And oh, it's not bad. It's three hundred dollars over here. It's three hundred dollars. It's three hundred on Amazon. Oh, OK, perfect. so I want one of those and the, the um, Amazon wish list. The one I wanted. The, uh, Maybe we can get them to sponsor the show or something. Hey, That's Anthony, true. work it, work it. So, okay, now we are um, taste testing with what kind of pizza? Okay, so this I, I did. The first pizza that I uh, served you guys is just our standard round 10-inch. Uh -huh. This is the same dough. Same. We only have one size dough, but we stretch it out thinner. So it's a rectangle. This is our thin crust pizza. Ooh, I like thin and it's crust. got marinara sauce, mm -hmm. um, mozzarella cheese, some ground pork sausage, pepperoni, mm. and sweet red bell pepper. This should go really Look well. Gloria and I just went at it. Yeah. yeah. Forget you, Lawrence. Thank you, Anthony. No, thank you, guys. Keep in mind, this is a lot Look better on. when it's first out of the oven. No, but it's really good now. That red bell pepper makes right. a difference. Now try the wine. Are you guys jealous? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? I might have to miss that reality TV awards thing <laughs> and uh, just come for some wine classes. Oh, my God. That's delicious. Yeah, it's good, right? Is this a special we don't know of? Um... You just gotta know... You just gotta know what our ingredients are and then you can customize anything you want. Yeah, but I want that. <laughs> we'll call that the lazo. Oh, the lazo. the lazo. Just go in the back and say, oh, I just need to see all your ingredients in the kitchen. I'm here with, I'm here with then... Chef Ramsay. <laughs> oh, man. All right, when we get back, we have another wine and another pairing. Right after this on the Culinary Trend Show. It's delicious. Been in an accident, then you need your vehicle professionally repaired. That's exactly what you get when you bring your vehicle to Greg's Auto Body Repair. Three quotes within minutes. We will provide everything you need for a hassle-free auto body repair, from an accurate estimate to working with your insurance company. We will get your vehicle to its pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Greg's Auto Body has been serving Los Angeles County and local cities since 1970. Call us at 562-789-1300.
Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar & Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar & Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Looking for some swag? Make sure to check out monsterclothing.com. They got everything from v-necks, t-shirts, hoodies, baby dolls, and remember, custom orders are always welcome, and much more. They're just not on the site yet. www.monsterclothingco.com or call them at 888-49-MONSTER. 888-49-MONSTER. Hablamos Español. Do -do -do. Done. We're not done. We're done. Oh my God! I'm in heaven. Heaven. You know what? You're hired for the show. I'm in heaven. You oh, have. You we're have doing that duet scene. right here. Oh no. Anyway, Lawrence, like I was saying, <laughs> you need to go sing with him. Yeah, we'll sing together. Uh, March 9th. Can I do another plug? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Monday, March 9th. Wait, wait, we're having a live calendar. jazz band at the restaurant oh, from nice. 6 30 to 9 30. Wait, wait, what day is a that? Very oh. good. It's a Monday, March 9th. <gasps> I'm off Monday. Monday. Off Sinatra. Oh, That's next it's Monday. Yes, it's next Monday. I'm coming that one. March 9th. I can have some of my favorite wine, which you'll be showing. And hot pizza. Yes. Who's coming with me? I might have to join you. Okay, Gloria? Maybe. March 9th. And I'm singing with the band. See, you can't yep. miss. He's got. He's there. awesome, man. This dude rocks. And we're gonna get her up there too. Yes, Woo! Gloria. Yeah. All right, that's fine. As long as Lawrence and I can enjoy some some wine and pizza, and she can, you guys can entertain us. Yeah, okay. you got the Avery Burdett trio. March 9th. Tell them again. What time? March 9th. March 9th, six thirty to nine thirty. We're transforming the dining room <gasps> into a. Dim lit jazz club. What? That pretty, that There's a cover. Badass. No way. There is a cover because is Pablo gonna move all those chairs for me. I do a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay, Pablo makes really good coffee. Just want to let you know. Thank you. I'm gonna let I him always, know. I always tell him that when I go there, I want Pablo's coffee, please. So <laughs> yeah, whatever right. he's doing, he's doing it right. What does he do different with the coffee? No, Nothing. It's just, it just tastes delicious. It's she just, just likes his smile. I, I just like it. I like everybody's smile at your restaurant uh if you're just tuning in shame on you you missed out Ooh. yeah uh, we're here with anthony ferrari from aroma ristorante we're t wine tasting um gosh everything's delicious Grazie. even even the guys in the basement we're throwing a couple crust or two for them Grazie. you know and uh they can smell the wine so talk to us what's next on your uh pairing here okay so this next round is actually called the favorites pairing because they they shouldn't go together right but this is my favorite pizza it's mine too. it's called the Josie's favorite 
and this is your favorite wine. Right. So I wanted to experiment to say, like, if you love two things, right. can you just make them work together? Right. Oh. You know? Like, I love like can, can love conquer yeah. all. So yes. let, let's do it. Saying. All right. So tell right. us. This is okay. Let me okay. tell you the story while he opens that. I went to say hi. Is it going to be long? No, it won't. I promise you. <laughs> Damn. Real quick. Um, I went in. Hey, Anthony, how so are you? So you start chugging from these bottles? Sounds no. like a plan. I go, hook me up. And he goes, I got something for you. And this was it. So tell us Pour about this one. Some. Okay, so uh, the history Excuse on this me. wine, this huh? grape is called <laughs> Brachetto di Acqui. Say it again. Brachetto di Acqui. Oh, this, is a, this is like What does a, that mean? Something of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard the aqui, and yeah. I was like, something water related. Okay, and so that's all I, got. I, I told my mom, oh, mom, I, I found this new wine. I think you're going to love it. And when she tasted it, she kind of got a little teary eyed because Why? this is one of the wines that her father used to love drinking. This wine is uh, like a thousand years old. This no is way. what the Roman soldiers used to drink when they were out you know conquering the world oh my gosh this is amazing yeah Isn't it good? so you're gonna get Holy raspberries crap. it's a little bit of effervescence oh, the effervescence wow. in that it. is natural it's, it's similar so to good. like a soda and you know you're not gonna want to drink dangerous. a whole <laughs> bottle of this by yourself because right. you'll get a meat hang strawberries yeah you don't even know just drink it what are you Pour it over some about? ice cream i'm sorry just curse what are you talking about marinating just Marinate oh, yourself sorry. in that. How's that? <laughs> yeah. I'm All right. already thinking of what drink can I make with this. <laughs> These are like portion for one per person. Yeah, that's a one eight seven. What size? What else oh can gosh, they? Uh, what other? That's size? a one eight seven me. milliliter. Oh, on, it's very low they're, alcohol. They're fighting. They're it's fighting. Like, oh, it's oh, like seven percent. Yeah, okay. it's not very high. Um, Holy you can we can get a seven fifty of that. This is like a nine dollar and fifty cents a glass. You're buying By a me bottle, this bottle. You're probably looking about. 34 for a bottle okay that's not bad um, at all but and it's worth it and i want to i want to right. emphasize no, i want to emphasize something okay? okay please do this wine has not been manipulated in any way shape or form it was just crushed fermented bottled how does it become like so the this gra the, the grape, grape is sweet the the grapes when when wine's on the sweeter side mm -hmm. Typically, the grapes are grown in a cooler climate. When the climate's cool during the day, or sorry, sorry, uh, warm during the day and then cool at night, usually somewhere near the water, the sugars in the grapes, they all kind of cling together when it gets cold. It and that's why, yeah, tight. that's why these grapes will have that Interesting. flavor Some profile. Some of my favorite dessert wines are ice wines, and that's exactly how, how they come together. Well, think about oh, that. I, they're growing in snowy places. Think of how tight those sugars are going to be. Yeah. Wow. So the, the ice wines, if, if you guys have ever had a chance to try an ice wine. No, but I see them in Cosplus all the time. They are never gotten fantastic. One. They they mm -hmm. literally taste like liquid candy. Niagara Falls is like a hot spot for the ice wines. There, there's, a, a, there's a particular vineyard out in somewhere in Canada called Inniskillen. Yeah, in the skillin. I love every single wine that they put out. Their oh, Cab wow. Franc ice wine is ridiculous. So they just do all different varietals in ice wine. Yeah, they have their their Riesling is fantastic. They have a Vidal, which is a blend. They do a Moscato. The Moscato is ridiculous, yeah. but they're and they're all great. But I have to highly recommend the Cab Franc. The Cab Franc because it ta it literally tastes like you're drinking a candy shell. Wow! Oh. Really? Yeah. Anthony, me, get on it. Like. I'm Get on, on it. it. In the skin. And... I have a text from a, a listener. What? We call him Manny Pantal Pantalones. He goes by many okay. names. We, in other words, he never wears pants. But <laughs> his education is just rising right now because of your, your information. And he's intrigued. And he wants to know if you have any preference of wine, Italian, American, French. You know, I guess I'm lucky when it comes to wine. I like it them all. It doesn't matter, right? I like them all. In fact, we have this we have this like uh go ongoing um inside joke at the restaurant with all the bar regs at lunchtime. Our favorite wine uh -huh. is more wine. I yeah, love that. that. Okay. Right. That I sounds like that. right. That's, that's her motto. But, but it's not with wine. It's, but if I have well, it's to, with anything. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite white, my favorite white wine is Sauvignon Blanc. Specifically, like something from New Zealand, because mm -hmm. it's got this really grassy. They call it a gooseberry. I guess it's a, it's a, a local fruit there. Uh -huh. It's got this really nice 
flavor profile. So uh, Kim Crawford, um, Cloudy Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of wines. It's like a Napa, the that you know that that area that of region. New Zealand, Marlboro. Mm -hmm. It's Australian like, wines have really been coming. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, I think we have a caller for you who okay. has a question. So hi, who's this? Hi, my name is Angela. Angela, how are you? I'm great. Where are you are calling you from? Good? I'm calling from Norwalk. Sweet Jeff, What's up, DMRS? Uh, did I say it right? <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of wine, so if it's like D's we got in the house. That buzz tonight. Yeah, they, it's Anthony. So, all right, Angela, do you have a question for Anthony? Yes, I do. I have a question for Anthony. Uh, first of all, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I I noticed that you guys are doing a tasting. It's awesome that you're doing this. My question to you is, um, what is your preference? What like do you like? North American wine, do you like Italian wine, European wine? What do you enjoy? You know, um, I'm a very lucky guy. Um, our restaurant is in very close proximity to a, a large uh, distribution company, and so I am constantly having to taste different wines. And when I'm drinking something, I, I mean, being Italian, I really like Chianti. Um, okay. There's one in particular that I really like. It's from Marchese Antonori. It's their Chianti Classico Reserva. It's fantastic. It doesn't drink like a typical Chianti. It's not super dry. It's got a nice kind of round finish to it. Um, oh, I'm, wow. I'm very fond of Pinot Noirs. I'd say if I was going to pick a red, I'm a Pinot Noir guy. And as far as white wines go, um, it's usually like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio. I'm not a big fan of the buttery Chardonnays. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. like overly sweet white wines either. Um, but, you know, that's the beauty of wine is they can all be wonderful. You don't have to just exactly. like one of them. Yeah. What's your favorite yeah. wine? Yeah, we want to um, know. Well, you know, my, my girlfriend, she's got me into tasting different types of wine. And you I'm go, girlfriend. I like Bordeaux a lot. Yeah, you know, if you yeah. like if you like Bordeaux style blends, uh, there's a wine that you can probably get at the grocery store for about ten dollars. It's really? from St it's from Sterling. I don't know if you're familiar with that brand, Sterling Vineyards. They're out of Napa, but they make uh. this North Coast Bordeaux blend. It's the five varietals. You got Merlot, Cabernet, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. And for ten dollars, uh, you know, it's a very nice, consistent. A bottle of wine and it's a it's a bordeaux style but you can't oh. call it bordeaux if it's not grown in From france bordeaux, okay. so if it's a if it's a california bordeaux they'll usually call it a meritage um okay. but uh like i said sterling has this sterling meritage that i think is something that you'd enjoy if if you can't right, find well, it, you can so come much. get it at the restaurant. Okay, Angela, Angela, put yes, put put this on your calendar, March 9th. Yes, meet I us. Heard. March 9th. Meet us. We're gonna go. Yes, Lawrence yes. and I. Six thirty to nine thirty. I'm yes. there. So, uh, are you down? We're because Anthony will get us a ta uh, a seat in the bar. All right. Anthony, is that true? See, there yeah, you guys can sit wherever you when want. When I heard the bar, I'm there. Okay, so don't. I'll text you later, Angela. But thank you for right, calling in. Good. All right, love. I want to hear Gloria sing. Yeah, Gloria sing. I'll be there <laughs> right now. All right. So Thanks, let's. Guys. Bye, 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 Angela. Bye. <laughs> All right. So what are we thank eating you. right now? Okay, so let me. Josie ask, special. You're a chef, right? Yes, I am. So if something's too sweet. You balance it out with salty. Salty. Mm -hmm. This is okay. true love. Okay, so that wine is super sweet, and the cheese on this is the Asiago. Oh my god, it's super salty. So try those together. It is true love. I did. Yeah, you try it. Was love good. does so good. conquer all. Mm. I'm just gonna take a look. Actually, did we open both bottles already? Yeah. It works. Yeah, it actually fun, works. Gloria. Does it work? It works. What? It what actually kind of works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. The saltiness does offset the sweet. Really nicely. March 9th, people, if you want to party with the crew here, we will be there watching Anthony sing and Gloria sing. We are going to have the Josie special. It's going to be the two-year anniversary uh, celebration. Let's do it. I'm down. Woot, woot. If I remember, you're going to remind me later. <laughs> no, but we're coming. <laughs> we'll be there. That's right. Hey, <laughs> Alan, are you down? March 9th. Who's down right now? Give us a call at 855-693-4897. It'll be a party bus. We'll all meet there. We'll watch Anthony perform, have some great wine, great food. The Josie special. Tell us the story behind this. Okay. So, my mom. I love your mom. Is the best. She is. She loves just really simple things. She loves Asiago cheese. Mm -hmm. And she likes spinach. That's all I want to put on my pizza. 
you know mm -hmm. that's like um the mark of like i think any any like um type of food okay like let's trace back ethnically mm -hmm. mexican food or chinese food mm -hmm. or italian food mm -hmm. french food mm -hmm. the really really good dishes have like three things in them but it's like three things that are very mexican or three things that are very italian and you really enjoy that it's that simplicity of it all mm -hmm. you're not trying to throw 45 ingredients into a pizza before you know it you don't really know so what good. you're tasting or you're mm -hmm. not so that's where this pizza came from there's no sauce on this one as as well what do you use for the base olive you oil? just olive oil and garlic you you know you might Perfection. brush it you might brush it two or three different times because it's going to kind of evaporate in the oven you want to make sure you keep it moist because mm -hmm. you don't want it to dry out now because you know when people think of wine pairing they're like well i should pair it with this kind of cheese and this type of meat it, all what you brought pairs well with pizza period now what's your advice to to everyone like you know if you want to enjoy a good night but af affordable you know something affordable i mean what we paired tonight it's perfect i don't care about the cheese to pair with this you know what i mean like besides the cheese and the pizza but you know, you have the trays with the meats and stuff like that. But that's what you're doing with pizza right now. We have the crackers, it's, but it's which perfect. is the I like bread. It, right. We have the cheese. When you say affordable, you're right. speaking in terms of the wine? Wine and, and just and because there's some people who can't afford a glass of $30 wine, for example. Okay. What do you suggest for them to come and uh, go to the store and get? You were talking about the $10 wine with Angela just a few minutes ago. Yeah. I what think, else do you suggest? I think if you're looking for a decent bottle of wine mm -hmm. at the grocery store. Not that three buck Chuck. not the three bucks because Chuck. you have ass and you have toes and you have snakes in there there's probably like what somebody's jacket in there <laughs> you know what i mean think about it like a picnic basket crushed up in there <laughs> and the uh, couple that was having yeah. a picnic right yogi and boo boo are there yeah too. yogi and boo -boo. no god <laughs> Um, no, all God, for three dollars, ladies no. and gentlemen. Okay, from from what I mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. from the guys that work the chains, which is like grocery stores. Right. There's two. There's when you're selling wine. There's two types of uh, wine sales. There's on premise and there's off premise. On premise is anywhere that the wine is being consumed on premise. Off premise is like grocery stores, Costco, yada yada yada. Right. Okay. So when you go buy something off premise, like at a grocery store. The typical markup is about 20%. Hmm. You okay. don't want to spend more than 12 or $13 on a bottle of wine. You should be able to get a good bottle of wine for that price. So if you want to learn how to determine which wines are good, you got to come to our next wine class. You hear that? On Wednesday, the 25th of March, because the whole idea here is to teach you how to read a label. Right. You know where it's coming from doesn't really matter who's making it right some people are new they need to make a name for themselves mm -hmm. they sell it cheaper some people are established they don't have enough wine they got to raise their price it's supply right. and demand so my goal is to try to like unlock this mystery that way when you go to the store or when you're out at a restaurant you know you can take advantage of a good deal i don't think you should spend more than 28 or 30 dollars on a bottle of wine at a restaurant because they should have a lot of good wines in that even up even up to like 36 mm -hmm. if you're paying more than that you're paying for the name or you're paying for like a specific style or like the winemaker is a renowned guy mm -hmm. you got to pay him for all that you know what i mean mm -hmm. so the way the bottle looks the amount of money they spend in the label making, all of that stuff goes into the price of the wine. Now, I mean, when we talk about, well, let's go to Vaughn's to get a bottle of wine, I mean, with our steak tonight. Yeah. Is there a specific place you would rather have people go to to get their wine versus the grocery store? Well, you can buy it from me. Yeah, there. Go to there. We sell <laughs> wine retail really inexpensive, yeah. you know, especially if you come and you have dinner and you eat and you've already spent money and you want to take a bottle <laughs> home i almost give it to you at cost like sometimes i'll make a dollar on the bottle sale mm -hmm. but like i said before that wine's gonna go bad if i don't move it right i can't bring in something new and i like to keep switching it up because it's fun for me too so my goal is just to keep rotating it in and out well before we go thank you so much for coming out oh, you have so much information yeah. let's make a deal right now okay 
can you come every month to educate us? Yes. Deal. Yes, I could. You guys see the yes, shake I could here? Do that. It's on camera. It's worldwide, hopefully. Yeah. If no satellite broke down on us. Our I one could. viewer. One Angela. viewer. <laughs> Terry, we love you. Um, we have viewers. We have Angela watching. Oh, Angela. So we went to you. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm honored. So we cheers, Angela. Cheers, guys. And uh, Anthony, thank you for coming Bye on out. My pleasure. Yes, to our viewers. Yeah. Tell us where we can find you. I mean, where is Aroma Ristorante? Okay, Aroma Ristorante is at 30 Center Point Drive. We're in the city of La Palma, mm -hmm. right off the 91 freeway. Our major cross streets are Valley View and Orange Thorpe. Okay. There's a Kaiser Permanente right mm -hmm. there and a La Quinta. Across the street, you've got some other chain restaurants. You know so what it's I mean. like, yeah, it's it's so like a little restaurant food, exactly. row. Uh, but we're at 30 Center Point Drive, mm -hmm. Suite One, La Palma, California. And check us out on Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, just search Aroma Ristorante, A R O M A R I S T O R A N T E. I guarantee you'll be glad you did. Yeah, and they have Instagram also. And do you have a Twitter yeah. feed? Yeah, I think the Twitter feed also is. Ar at Aroma Restaurant. Okay, and plug in what's happening for this month or next month. Okay, just a quick recap. We've got a few things going on. Uh, March 20th is the first day of spring. Oh, so we're wow. going to do a movie Jeez. night. Oh, spring into wait, swing. Wait. Swing the Godfather? In, swing into spring. <laughs> no, we did The Godfather. Last night we had what? a wine dinner Where with Coppola. That's a Friday. Okay, Friday. Say it again. Friday, March wait, wait, wait. 20th. You got to do The Godfather voice. <laughs> On Friday the March 20th, we're having a movie night. Swing into spring. We're going to be showing swingers. I know everybody loves that movie. Yeah, You're so you probably funny. probably haven't it's watched so it in funny. like 10 years. Your money, baby. You don't even know it. Come to the movie night. We got live music March 9th. I'll be we there. We got a Vino 101 class on March 25th. And that's just March. That's We're going to have so things going, going on. on all year long. We're just going to have to move in, And guys. all this can be found on your website? You can check out our website. Your best bet, though, is to follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'm sending out three or four posts a week giving okay. you updates on what's right. going on. How about what's your current. website? Because I'm part of that club where you send out yeah, the newsletters. Yeah, go Tell on us about to our that. website, okay. www.aromalapalma.com. And go and join the VIP club. You can sign up online. You'll get an email that will give you a $5 coupon for signing up. You print and bring it in. Yay. And then every week we send out an electronic newsletter letting you know about all of our events that are going on. Uh, we're a family business, so we're lucky and we get to close for like major holidays. So we'll give you a heads up saying when we're going to be closed mm -hmm. so you don't show up and get upset that we're not there. You're like... Yeah. Where's my Josie special? Yeah. Hello? We try Hello? To be, we try to be considerate. But just to give you an idea of the kind right. of things, we really we really um, try to keep you guys part of the family and know what's going on it. with us at all times. I love it. And again, uh, Lawrence and I have been there. Alan has been there, the Rant Radio, except for Arvin. Arvin. Now she's going to be in there singing with you. Yes. And uh, to be honest, with everybody who's watching right now, thank you again. It's worth, if you live far... Come on, take one night off with your loved one and go hang out with this family because it's amazing. You do feel like it at home, and the food is just its just on spot. Right, Lawrence? I mean, we were talking about it last time, how it's changed before you guys moved in. I mean, the name, but the no, food. No, the, the, name, the name has stayed the same. Right, the name has, but, the you know. The food has also stayed the same. Right, but the name of the family. But the food's, oh, yeah. the food's evolved. Like, the menu's grown a little, right. and... Um, but I mean, it, the the menu has definitely grown, but the quality right. is still there. It's right. it's always been. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I last time you were here, I told you I've been going to your restaurant since since high school. Yeah, that's same the here. Mid, that's mid nineties, mm -hmm. and that was before you guys bought it. And then still going there to this day, it's still like. I know I can get a fantastic meal anytime I go there. Right. Been, yeah. and, and you guys hear our show. We talk about different restaurants and food. This is like our winner right here. We have our, our barbecue, but we were talking about it is because we are going to have an award show one of these days. Mm -hmm. You guys won for Italian. Well, I'm, I'm honored. You, you should be honored because we don't have any awards to give out right now, but we will. We will have you an award what? show. I don't need a piece of paper or something to tell me I'm a winner. Just hearing She's you say it. Sing you. No, you know what? Just hearing you guys say that. It really makes me feel like I, I made the right decision getting into this industry. I love know? Italian food. It's my favorite. Yeah. Ten, all the food's my 10, favorite. 12. We're going on like 13 years. Wow. It's just wow. flying it, by. It, yeah. And I don't know. I don't. I think it's just because I really, 
I love what I'm doing. And we could tell. It's in the food. It's in your presentation of everything you, you we feel the passion of everything you do. The knowledge Aww. is amazing. So once a month, we'd love to have you here. Sure. Is that a deal? I'll bring some more Everybody give it up for time. Anthony Ferrari from Aroma Ristorante. If you want to join us, we are going to be watching him perform and Gloria enjoying some pizza and wine March 9th. What time? 6.30 to 9.30. I'll be there at 7. <laughs> I don't know if I could be if I should be afraid for Gloria being on the stage. That's okay. We'll be drinking, but we'll be fine. Thank you for listening. Follow Anthony. Follow us. Have a great weekend. We will see you next week here on the Culinary Trend Show on RantRadioNetwork.com. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Did you ever want to have your own radio show? No. Okay. <laughs> but if you did, you should call the Rand Radio Network at 855-693-4897. What was that number again? I don't understand what you're saying. 855-693-4897. Oh, hello, Mr. Whiteface. I mean you no harm. So please don't come at me. That's a conversation I had with...